Okay. So, testing. One, two, three. All right. I don't know if anybody here is actually going to be watching this, but hello and welcome to my, my Pokemon stream. Hopefully, hey, we will be able to get a whole lot of stuff done. Fun, but right now, you saw the title. My goal here is to get us to the Academy. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and start a whole new game here. But we're doing Pokemon Violet, not Pokemon on Scarlet. I, I know. Oh, a lot of people like Pokemon Coridon. Oh, sweet. I have followers now. Hooray. Anyway. Pop my neck. Play it English mode. Thank you. I love this music. Alright, time to break the protagonist. This book. <laughs> Hi, Proving Sloth. <laughs> How you doing? Alrighty then, so I'm going to go ahead and go with my regular name here. We could probably change that. Alright, first things first, let's do something about this hair situation. Now, probably the closest I'm going to get to my regular hair. Because until they get... I'm gonna give it black, though. Alright, now let's change the look a little bit. Uh, I know, I knew... I work for eyes... Okay, there's like a darker brown. There we go. Okay, well. No. 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 That's pretty close to me. <laughs> I know, I know, we all actually want to actually get to the... I mean, that's arguably the closest I'm going to get. Oh, there we go, there we go. I, I admit, I have the thicker eyebrows. Don't think I have any freckles. But behold me. Y'all ready for this? Well, I hope whomever or actually is watching this is ready for this. And I fell in the back. And now, we're off to the academy. We have an academy enrollment application. All nice and filled out. We had text that I don't think we can answer. Oh well, 
That actually can really get me. Ah, uh, yes. Auto save. Turn it off. Alright. Behold Uva Academy. Leading the way into the future. Well, valuing our individuality. It's time for you too to dive into world world of Pokemon. And this is Director Clavel, head of Uva Academy. As you can see, he's busy doing paperwork. Badea is a region, well, a sprawling region, bursting with lush. With lush nature and magnificent landscapes, I cannot speak. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known as Pokemon to us. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Look at this little thing. It looks like it's going to catch multiple bodies. Well, thank you. Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas. In the skies. Even our cities and towns. So have fun with that. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we poke and help one another to live and thrive. Uva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon to battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these holes you will find and your friends, Pokemon, even yourself. We, the faculty and staff at Uva Academy, can't wait to welcome you to open arms. I was barely able to read that, but oh, okay, we're just gonna skip right over a review of that to see the box art legendary just flying through the sky and the world's title. Oh, look, Burks. Small Pokemon that I have yet to even run into. As well as new Taurus. Those are Taurus, right? Eevee. Flamingos. Oh, dang, that poor Lizard looks like it's powering down. How did it not hit anything? Okay, seriously, it, it's fading. It, it looks like it's about to crash. Oh, that, it, it crashed. Did it survive that? Of course it did. It, it's not like they're going to kill something off of it. Uh, Pokemon game. Okay, so here we are at the point. At our house, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, so hopefully we're finished with our great homework. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get up. Behold us. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Ah, uh, okay, it's auto-saving. Maybe you can tell. I can tell just by that little icon in the corner. I could probably move this over here, here and lose absolutely nothing. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. When is it time to get ready? Oh, sweet. This is the adventure guide. Okay. 
Now then, let's first things first. Let's go ahead and turn tech speed to fast. We're gonna keep keep moving learning on. Then the boxes. Yes, we'll have to do it manually. Of course, we're gonna nickname our Pokemon. Uh, we're not heartless monsters. Vertical camera. Horizontal auto save. Oh, there it is. That's the part when you turn off. No nicknames. Yep. We're not gonna skip guys' names. Maze, you guys, I have to probably hear for that. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this moment to. <laughs> and then casually head downstairs. Oh man, there are a lot of stairs. Okay, I'm guessing that's our mom squibbit. Oh, and that's mom's room. Oh, we're not allowed in there. <sighs> God, I wish we could run. Yes, yes, I heard you the first time, Squibbit, and we're coming over. Yes, yes. Ooh, yellow chair. Fine. Okay, fine, it's not mine. Whose yellow chair is it, then? Because yeah, that chair looks way too nice. I swear it to be anybody else's chair. Let's go talk to Mom. Hey, Mom, who's the chair? Therefore. Yeah, Mama? Good morning, Grant. Oh, already in a uniform and everything. Well, yes, Mom, it's the only only clothes that this game will probably allow us to be in. Well, this is your first day of your new school, after all. Yep, and we're going full academy team. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing at the door. School contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Wait, how much longer? Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Grant, get the door, would you? Oh, don't mind if I do. Is it going to take a minute? Because, of course, we're still locked into not being able to run yet. Do forget the intrusion. You just opened the door without me even prompting you. You sir. Or uh, that is kind of sort of rude. It, the door was locked. Also, how did he get in if the door was locked? Pokemon on houses need to invest in security. <laughs> anyway. You are Master Grant, yes? Yes, I am. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also, for my delay, introduce myself. I saw the opening video, sir. I think I know who you are. I am the director of the Academy. You may call me Mr. Clever. Nice to meet you, sir. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures so far. So, here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Goodness, you really needed to have. Mama, where did you actually store those documents away? Those are deep paper pockets. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? No need to trouble yourself. Grant, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head up, back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Okay, but there's no guarantee I'm going to wear that hat. Now, Mr. Clevel, you must simply join me for a cup of This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind of Okay, I'm pretty confident that we're from Gower because... Cup of tea? I mean... What do you all think? Anybody have a theory where we're from in the chat? Okay, we can't change... We can't change the, any of the other clothes yet. 
Okay, well, we're just gonna go up here, go to our bed, grab our hat and gloves. On my hat bag. There we go. There we go. We're looking stylish. Behold how how we look. We're looking pretty fine. Ah uh, yes. You can press the X button to open the main menu. You can select the save option from this menu to save all your progress you made on your adventure so far. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items inside, including said adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to review handy tips like these you receive along your adventure. So yes, we have a place where you can access our tutorial. Oh yes, and we also have a bunch of pockets here. This is a medicine pocket, Pokeball pocket, battle. Oh, items pocket, berries pocket, other items, TMs, TM materials. Wait, why do we have TM materials? I think that's news in this game. Moving along, treasures, aka stuff we can probably sell. Picnic items, that is the main gimmick. And of course, there are key items pocket. We can favorite things with the plus button. But let's go ahead and keep going here. Alrighty then. Going down the stairs, more down the stairs. Let's go ahead and check Eklund and Mom and Dr. Travel. Oh, look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I have entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Grant. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Oh, cool. We're going outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Okay, we're just going to go down this way. Or we do. I don't think this is going to have any any impact on, on anything, but let's just go ahead and save now, just for the sake of showing it how to save. Maybe we'll be able to get able to run here soon because everything's been slow. Ah. Outside our house at last. Oh, and our mom's here too. Alright, got a hat. And adjusted. Ready for air battle. Our. Alright then. Right then. And dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs! Sir, you have Premier Balls. Oh, why weren't any of them in that? We provide each student for entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as, a, as your partner. Brigadino, the grass cat Pokemon. <laughs> oh, aren't you adorable. Wait, Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. You two are also adorable. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. <laughs> uh, that is a little cute Pompadour. Okay, fine. All three of you are, you are adorable, and we will team up, up one of the three of you. And I don't know. We're probably going to end up doing some incidents. I'm not going to lie to you. I you guys, if we end up going against demigods or what the lot, I cannot guarantee your safety. They're all very good company. Why they usually refuse to even leave my side. Some loyalty they have. What's this? Hmm. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Grant, than familiar old. 
do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time for your decision, and come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. Okay, well, we're going to think about this as we go. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. No, it is not. I want to take this opportunity to walk with these little ones and get to know them. I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I've got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you for going on your own. Yeah. Roton phone. Always good to have, have something to a thing to communicate with other people. You know, as the less reasons. Yeah, let's go to Pen Evac. He has fucking pen. The latest model of smartphone. Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. You know, I have this feeling that the next Pokemon game is probably going to end up having in your Rotom phone get trashed early on, and then the Fox Art Legendary Pokemon have some kind of ability to possess your Rotom phone, and then from there, they're going to be invited. Imagine that. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map out by pressing the Y button. Nice. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now, off you go. Have fun. Alright, Mom. We're off to go do that. But before we... <laughs> the handy Rotom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives the trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over to your own icon, then and move the right stick from side to side. You'll rotate your own view alongside along with the map. Handy for getting yourself oriented. Oh, cool. You can also use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Click the location by pressing the A button, and you can set it at your next destination. Cool. And of course, the flying taxi. The flying taxi service can take you some places that you visited before. Places that you can fly to are indicated with a feather mark. Try taking a flight. Well, we would, uh, but however, we're here in the middle of, middle of a small little journey here, so we're going to go up here, and this is where we need to go. Alright, there we go. Unfortunately, this is as far as zoomed in as we can go. Oh, yeah. You can also check your profile uh, this early in the game. So, if we were doing a Nuzlocke, not saying we are, but if we were, you can use this as your immediate go to for deciding adding by ID, trainer ID what Pokemon you would end up picking. I do believe it's like usually a last digit. <laughs> so by this particular logic, if we were doing a Nuzlocke here, I would have to go ahead and say we're probably, probably going to have this fake Sprigatito. But that's if if we were doing that. Okay, well anyway, let's go ahead and, and check in with these Pokemon. Hi, Fuego. Go how you doing? Awesome. You know, quickly. 
Who got distracted now? Okay. Uh, so we're going off to the next house. Ah, uh, look at them, Rod. Oh, Brigadier, what's up? <laughs> okay, that that's you, Quaxley. Oh, aren't you adorable, kitty? Okay. What if I wouldn't alert the cats in real life? Yeah, I know. I'm. Oh, I have dogs, but I'm allergic to cats. What are the sheer odds? Yeah, this is Capo Poco. Huh. Well, that's supposed to be. Okay. I'm gonna check it with you. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally run. This is Capo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community. But it's home. Oh, are you the infamous tech? Yep, you're the infamous power of science, gentlemen. What do you have to say? The power of science is amazing! If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the multiplayer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between. You, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. And show off the uniform arm option. So, the game defaults oh, to, you to the spring. Oh, wait, to the summer uniform. So this is the spring uniform. Arm, a little bit nice. A little bit less short shorts. Percy. The autumn uniform arm has the best. And the winter uniform, which it's that season in. In the continental U.S., and as well as Alaska and probably Hawaii. There we go. Yeah, this season, this outfit makes sense for this season. But for argument's sake, it, the location we're going to be in, I will probably end up being in Ah. Alright, we're gonna keep our school shoes on. Let's put the school gloves on. They seriously cannot... ...not zoom in with... The, uh, they seriously cannot cover the hands 100% with school gloves. Okay, well we have a school backpack and an option for a canvas backpack. Then we have school hat, sporty cap, and school helmet. We'll keep school hat on. There we go. And the Devo case. There we go. We're looking stylish now. Just want to check something real quick. Is anybody else on good? Okay. All right, then. So we're gonna go ahead, head up this uh, steps. Before we do, we're gonna save one more time because finally. All right, I will go ahead and head up. Here. 
probably going to end up in a few minutes, though, but anyway. Alright, now we're, let's talk quick uh, and of course you guys are immediately going to improvise. Splashing yourself. Uh, somebody else. Water? Kind of rude. Brigatino, no. Okay, I guess Brigatino, yes. Okay, play Coco. Whatever you do, don't set something on fire. And you just burn that port or berry. Okay, you're lucky the owner happens to be forgiving. Are you the three strainer? Not quite. Master Grant has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of these will choose. Now. Hey, what about that fairy? <laughs> okay, well, it looks like it's time for big decision time. Why not? We haven't met, have we? No, not yet. I must say, I was expecting to see you here quite so soon. Uh, well, there wasn't really a whole lot I could do, so... Just gonna straight ahead into this area. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's new student, Master Grant. He'll be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up, moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. Oh well, you are that invested. I'm the Mona. Normally I live in school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? I feel like being friends with you is a good idea. Love the enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Simona is a president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. Wait, what? Champion rank trainer? Why is that a thing? Why is that a... There's a ranked status in this region? Why is there a thing? Absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. Hold it there, sweetie. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. Yeah, so, you have plenty of time to battle later. Not to mention, I don't even have a Pokemon yet, and I need to, need to finally make a decision between Intrigatito, Quaxley, and Fuego. You do need to switch positions. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. Okay, okay. Calm yourself. On that note, Master Grant. Have you decided which of these three Pokemon would you like to be your starter? First part. Honestly, was not 100% and picking this. Now, this would be the part where I would ask chat what uh, their opinion would be. Uh, because we have, a, have this adorable little kitty right here. Or Spigatito. I have one on my... On my Scarlet Blade, Scarlet Sapphire. Also, I feel like that would probably be me a little overboard with a kitty. Yes, yes, I, I know you're cute. I know you're cute. And then I have Fue Coco on my first practice file. Uh, so, by that particular logic, rule of thumb, I would probably have to pick hit the Quaxley. Does anybody have any objections to that? I don't think anybody has any objections to that. 
All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Quaxley if nobody has anything to say. So, anyway, come here. Here, Ducky, we're going to talk. Talk shop. <laughs> oh. That's Quaxley, a water type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but it's mighty stream to water can put out any fire. You'll see. Would you like to go with our good water type Pokemon, Quaxley, here? Yeah. DuckTales! Woo woo! Pum -pum. You chose Quaxley! Would you like to give Quaxley a nickname? Let me think about that for a second. Yes. Alright, you're a male Quaxley? Okay, so... This is a very interesting question. Now, naturally, I'm inclined to pick a, pick a DuckTales character, or even Darkwing Duck like himself. Oh, that's Drake Mallard, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to get Drake Mallard in... But Drake is a pretty good thing to go with. If you have Nathan Drake, you have uh, Drake the Jim, the Elite Four person from um, the Hoenn games. You have Drake, that guy from uh, from the Orange Island saga. You have Drake Mallard. There are a lot of Drakes. Sir Francis Drake. That that's another one. Nathan Drake's brother Sam. Okay, I probably should stop delaying this and just go ahead and hit the plus button already. <laughs> Fucked it. Got fucked. Alright, so we got our duck duck friend. Quaxley seems to have taken a liking to you, Master Grant. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it, it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Okay, don't mind if I do. Grant, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Okay, is she staring at me with stars in her eyes? Guys, we may need to pump the brakes a little here, here in a moment. We get it. You are very excited for this. You have woken up, up, and it's clearly obvious you want to choose violence, and I am delaying the violence. So we'll Go ahead and get to the violence here. Can I choose one of these Pokemon to direct a collabo? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. How many Pokemon does this lady have? But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Grant while he raises his own new partner. Okay, I think I understand what's going on here. Nimona is basically an old generation... I mean, an older generation and player character protagonist. And she's gotten dissatisfied. Or at least I think that's what's going on here. But I could be wrong. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal fitting and with Master Grant, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! 
Okay, so you are very much interested here. Now let me guess. Since Quacks chose Quacksley, I'll go for this little one. Oh, the foot. Hey, Kogo, who got the hand of of is now happily bonded to Nimona. Nice to meet you, Foy Coco. Welcome to the team. Okay, you are just having way too much energy there, Foy Coco. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down on the beach. Could you me when you're ready? Okay, that Foy Coco is off to the races. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. Well, I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Okay, well, don't mind me. I will go ahead and do that. Yes, yes, we'll battle Nimona. Oh, no, she's all the way down here at the beach. I was going to talk to the kitty real quick. Okay, I can't talk to the kitty. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and... Is there anything shining on the floor? No, no, nothing shining on the floor. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you hit the R button, I... It's in... It's our... And the quacks leaf actually ousted. I have to wake up with juice violence. Come on, Drake, we must go. Go do a thing. Wait a second. Before we continue doing the thing, let's actually check your. Okay, yes, yes. Auto heal. Heal feature will automatically select next items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. Well, that's convenient. To use auto heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. It'll prioritize ice items in the following order. First is potions, then fresh waters, then your soda pops. You could have probably just said... You know, I don't honestly think, think there is a right way to decide between soda and pop. Huh, I'm the soda branch. Well, regardless, it goes through Secret Potions next, then your Lemonades, which is what I would actually go for, or if I had to pick between soda and lemon soda, internal sugary drinks, then your Moo Moo Milks, and then your higher potions. Okay, okay, I, okay, I heard you the first time, I'm Quaxley, we'll check you out. Out. Okay, yeah, this Quaxley is just really, is just really much having fun. Uh, hmm. Name Quaxley. Type water. Uh, Terra type shiny water. Other uh, real name Drake. Original trainer me. And then you have uh, the ID number. Okay, okay, yes, yes, forty-four points to your first level up. Okay, okay. You were just having way too much fun running around me, Quaxley. I would love to keep happening. Okay, so it looks like I think we have a boost of regular defense, but your special defense is not looking great. Current moves are Pound, Pound, Growl, and the Water Gun. Pretty lax by nature. Nature. And then its location is Capo Poco. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, he tuckered himself out. Look at this little thing. Dang, I'm sorry, Drake. I was boring. I mean, I hate to be... I mean, I hate to be rude, but Nimona's waiting for us over there. Here, and also, stairs I'm pretty confident aren't her good seating spots for Ducky, so... Come on, wake up. Yes, yes. I, I'm sorry. Right, we can go. We can go over here. Here. We here. We need. We need to battle. Over here. Okay. Yeah, this kid needs voice acting because you guys can probably tell my voice is terrible. 
Okay, I, I'm sorry. Alright, there we go. There we go. Quaxley is back on, back on the field. You, you know, I just realized we're... I, I, there, I am back up in that corner. Or hopefully, there is like no good corner in this thing. Okay, because you have my mini map over here. Here in the bottom right corner. Here, here, this corner right here is, here is pretty much being the occupied. And then you have this corner that covers the map. So, yeah, there is no good corner for, for this. Yes. So, I'm just going to put myself right here and hope for the best. Okay. Sorry, about it. We had a talk. Anyone can be a Pokemon trader, as long as they have Pokemon by their side. You know what? Actually, no. I'm probably going to be best as up here. There we go. Now we should probably have... Oh, hello. How you doing? To a new viewer. Here. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Grant? Yes. Perfecto. I am so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Wait. You think you'll use... Oh, right. Champion level trainer. You have multiple Pokemon. You are absolutely ready for this. Miss Nimona. Oh, thank goodness. I trusted you remember Master Grant is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Oh, if only he knew. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Okay. Slow the roll here, sister. I guess I'll take this chance to trap a new buddy instead. Alright, I'm just gonna back up here real quick. Come on, Grant. Let's have a... Oh, us a fruitful battle. Bring it. Trent that brace. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Play Coco. Versus Drake. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. For this, this AI? I mean, for this incarnation? Perhaps. But for me personally, yeah, no, that's not actually the case. I've, I've grown up with all the Pokemon game. Well, at least all the generations. So, so, so yeah, for those of you who happen to be new with this, okay, well, I have something. We're just gonna go ahead and use the water gun. <laughs> you must have been setting up. Smart move. Water is strong as fire. Oh, watch. I end up getting... <laughs> uh, if only that actually happened. But yeah. Yeah, I have this feeling Nimona deliberately chose Quay Coco because she knew my type. I have in terms of right, Pokemon. And she wanted to make it easy for us. Uh, so let's start out. I remember she deliberately handicapped her. Oh. Let's go, Drake! Wow, not bad, neighbor. Give me that money. Look at you, winning your first Pokemon battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Whoa, slow your roll there. Master Grant and his Quackley are surely weary already from that last battle. Uh, sorry, I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry. 
Hey, Grant. Tamed here quietly, too. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Grant. To who seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure you can learn a great deal from champion rank trainers such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to the training Pokemon, there's an app you'll definitely need. Give smartphone, right? Let me see. Okay, how was she able to add the Pokedex app to my rote dumb phone? Oh, um, just from the back of it. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our Hummer teacher, Mr. Jack, actually made it himself. Wait, so... If Director Clavel here is, a, here is pretty much the serving the role of the local Pokemon professor, and this... Head. His homeroom teacher, Mr. Jack, is the one who charged the bucket egg. What does Professor Toro Interesting thing here. Back in my day, we use ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. You're from Hisui? No. It's quite the age we live in. Now. Oof. Filling a Pokedex out by hand? I can't even imagine how much work it would have taken. I can. Let's go fuck my bunch of Darcy's. <laughs> no, I Yeah, no matter how much. The challenge by Chang, the wonder of meeting the Pokemon never done. That too big time is fun. More Pokemon than you encounter, or you'll find yourself growing and changing. You will both work hard, or towards a goal of playing your own Pokedex. I mean, I would absolutely love to, but I don't really have a full, full online following who's willing to trade Pokemon with me. Not yet, at least. Now, Mr. Moda, I do have a few matters to discuss with your parents. But I didn't want you to see Master Grant in a cafe. You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave your capable hand. All right, little one. I'm, you and I were on our way. Oh, Brigatito, don't worry. We'll see you again. I have this feeling we will. So they usually they do have something happen to the dark Pokemon to get in debt. Bye, Brigatito. Maybe I want to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex anymore. Battle. Well, you do it, and I'm gonna go. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I literally just got a Pokemon, so as far as you're concerned, no. I'll show you the roads before I take you to the cat. Come with me. Okay. Will you hold still for a second? Press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone flash. You can also navigate your Pokedex as I press the X button from the map app. Anyway, battle or catch Pokemon on the compound volumes in your Pokedex app. The fancier covers and there's a Pokemon you've actually caught. Open up your Pokedex as to view all the Pokemon you've Look it on digital shelf and check. I get what reward you can earn by pressing the X button. Press the plus button when looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex, and you can check 
that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and when they're active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Alright, let's see here. That's a boy Coco. Oh, this is the Quaxley. Let's look at Quaxley. A strong legs they easily swim around even fast flowing rivers. I like to keep things tidy and it's road to over Dicky Ming. Okay, so we're going to go find Mona real quick. Hey, but hold on a second. Drake You're lax by Quaxley standards. Are you sure you are you sure you're bro oh don't forget anything, buddy? Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going. I love this R button thing. Life is like a hurricane here on Duck. Duck bird. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales, woo. Oh, there's mommy. <laughs> Hello, Grant. I heard here from the mono. Here to the mono, we take you to the school. That's true, Mom. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. I'm. So you already managed to make a friend, and she's a girl. Yes. <laughs> the shipping has begun, and I read all about the wonderful teachers that you had looking after you at school. So, plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you'd like. Add in your new friend, Demona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Okay, cool. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll be proper meals. Well, I will. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for you. So on your first day. Ooh, a sandwich for mom. <laughs> it's actually the key item. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread. Did they have to explain what a sandwich is? It makes a fantastic meal with Ellen a picnic. Again, did they have to explain what a sandwich is and why is it a key item? Oh, and maybe you better take the two. Okay, now that we actually need. Spray type medicine and for treating wounds. It can be used to restore 20 HP to a Pokemon. Yep, that's how potions work in this game. Use them in that precious little partner of yours. On that little partner of yours to get hurt in battle. I know every day of your new life is going to be full of experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, That's heartwarming. Oh, alright then. You two would better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Thanks, Mom. Um, we'll try to not commit too many war crimes on their way. Your mother's so nice, Grant. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! Okay. Hey, hold it still. Stop being like Barry. This way. Okay.
Okay, you don't say you don't tell me where where she is, but I'm gonna have to call her. Welcome to Poco Path. The first route of this game. Okay, I actually like this music. All right, this here is Poco Path. It's a path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than the town. That wasn't a town, was it? That was like very little. Why are, why are the starting areas for every Pokemon game just so minuscule? You're going to see one of the Pokemon on out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Okay, okay. Okay, so we know oh, the wild Pokemon on just have, have no regard for, uh, for being in the tall grass anymore, so no RNG here. Get too close to one, and you'll have to mount. But you gotta quest. Nicely for that, right? Yep, I do. And you wanna catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I've got tons. I have a few. Okay, thank you for the five Pokeballs. We're gonna go ahead and put them in our pocket. Device for catching wild Pokemon. It's thrown like a ball. All of the Pokemon. Comfortably encapsulating his start. Hey, did I hear something about Pokeballs? <laughs> oh, okay. Woo, what luck. Time to... And where am I doing? Pride battling with Lechonk, correct? Okay, what, Nemoto? Wait, you, you left me with the Lechonk? You can try to catch a Pokemon. On the wild, you're battling, you're pressing the X button and throwing a Pokemon. So you have a hard time catching a Pokemon, you to deal damage to it before or throwing a, another Pokemon. That should give you a better chance to that. Alright, where are you? Okay, she's over there, she's already on. Like a fangirl. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna probably start. On the light water gun. Okay, probably not gonna do that again. Alright, I think it's low enough. Pokeball, go. Yeet. One, two, three. Yes! The Chunk has joined our party. This Pokemon spurns all but the finest of food. Its body gives it of an herb-like scent that bug Pokemon detest. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna name you... Gordo. Yes, I am aware I'm calling it fat. Hala! <laughs> that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. Yes, I am pretty good at this. I'm probably when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. <laughs> okay, Navona, you may want to Tone down the flirting for our, our younger viewers here. If we have any. Anyway, I have some more Pokemon balls just in case. Not every catch works out. Ten Pokeballs there. Thank you very much. Weaken the Pokemon and throw the Pokeball. 
Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go paddle those wild Pokemon and catch them. Don't mind if I do. Let's meet up back at that lighthouse over there. You can see here a school from the top. Alright, push it. Yeah. The Pokemon to be wandering around. And tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon during one of your Pokeballs at it by ZR button. Try this tactic I take out the battle Pokemon that are up in the trees. trees and or flying in the sky. Okay. I'm gonna mark this right here. Okay, well she already conveniently healed healed Gora. Gorno. Let's go ahead and look at you. Yes, yes. Okay, what is with me in getting a lax crew? Uh, so, I just have the lazy glove now? Okay, but anyway. While on the screen, you can press Y to switch which Pokemon in the lead. Hey, this is good for... Good for your That's a level two, that chunk. Where you can hit the B button to uh, sneak. What the? Aha! Caught the wild hopping buff guard. We'll just go ahead and catch this thing right now. Yes, 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 we. Good job, Gordo. Yes. Outside of cold regions, Hoppip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries this species all over the world. Oh, wow. You really are. Yes, I would like to give you a nickname. Hmm. But first, let's give me all this. And then we're going to call you. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna call We're gonna call you Valden. Not sure why, but Valden seems like a fun name. Get in the book. Okay, fine. Hey, 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 you You bye bye. Hi the chunk. But where, where am I the chunk going? Tarantula. Okay, well now we have Tarantula Thread. The thread it secretes from its rear... Get your minds up together. It's as strong as wire. 
figure behind the thread of strength, it's a topic of ongoing research. Tarantula needs a nickname. How about we call her... After a very famous famous book about a pig and a... Charlotte Webb. Uh. Okay, you know what? I just realized. I forgot to check Valden and... Sassy Valden. <laughs> sassy. Okay, what is this? Uh, the lazy and the... Lazy and the sassy club? Uh. Okay, my Pokemon need help. <laughs> <laughs> Gordo just as good just eating and leaving no crumbs. Also, Nomona can come and heal you up, which is super convenient. It's so you don't have to basically hey, waste all your potion. Okay, so. Bro, I just saw a uh, Pokemon, saw a new Pokemon that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, sweet. Starming voice. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, man. It escaped. I'll have to find it later. Maybe it's gonna be up here? Okay. Let's find the rock. Ah, uh, revives. For, for all of those extra lives. Ugh. I can't wait to be able to climb I'm rocks properly in this game. Antidotes for all your... Get him, Drake! This one looked at you funny, too. Aha! I was wondering where you were. Scatterbug. Okay, finally, a Pokemon with meat on its bow. Okay, on Ecto Kill. Hold it. On the Ecto Kill chat.
This Pokemon scatters a poisonous powder to repel enemies. It'll eat different plants depending on where it lives. So, it'll eat... So, I'm guessing the Colossian... ...and scatterbugs and the... ...the Paldean scatterbugs have different diets. Okay, so this thing I know evolves into a butterfly. There aren't too many butterfly themed characters I can think of on top of my head, but however, however, I know there's quite a few. Yes, I like to nickname all these Pokemon uh, based off of themes. And you, as you can tell. Shinobu from Demon Slayer? I mean, I feel like this somehow will fit because... Okay, there. We finally have, have a Pokemon with, uh, with some fight in there. Let's talk uh, about your summary. Mild mannered. <laughs> Mild mannered. There's Shinobu. Okay, and there's where our super potions are. Oh, this game really likes... Alright, who wins? Hmm. Getting that... That juicy XP. Okay. Okay, oh, there you are. You need that brain cell. <laughs> now that I think about it, what are everyone's what's everyone's ability here? Oh, your ability is gluttony, so Oh, you're good for like early early healing if I equipped you with a berry. Torrent. Water moves and pinch. Leaf guard. Guard. We need to use sun for you. Poof to, to give a middle finger to status condition. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't say that for the kids. We should say. To say no to status conditions. <laughs> yes, I see you, Hoppip. I will deal with you in a second. Insomnia prevents it from falling asleep. And compound eyes. 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 Accuracy boots. Realistically speaking. Okay, we're we're going up to here, and we're gonna beat this thing thing up for no reason other than we can. Get up. Let's beat it. Is 
Dark had the charm, honestly. The thing. You know, I really ought to try I to use the other Pokemon to battle. Yeah, okay, I can see why I don't try other Pokemon to battle besides Quaxley and besides Drake and Egg and Corvidale. <laughs> uh. Well, there was a reason I came over here. What was it? Where is the reason? Okay. Oh, man. I completely forgot how... You know, I completely forgot how... Okay. Poppets, we need to talk about this. Oh, wait. You know, why is Splash continue to be a move? Same reason why. Hi, Dad. Yeah, but, uh, Okay, well, at least Valden has a move for combat. <laughs> Continue to. <laughs> After a completely different scatterbug. <laughs> And then came around that you're beating up a up an innocent little job. <laughs> uh, only on Uh-huh. Okay, when I made this feature, they did not. When they sincerely they sincerely did not. Okay, that's weird. I honestly thought the Palmy would be over here. Oh well. Oh well. No live and learn. I can't correct it, chat. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're the you're the strongest looking thing, thing in this area, and the fastest looking thing in this area. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, we have something that can actually fight. The pads on his paws are electric electricity discharging organs. Palmy fires electricity from his four paws while standing unsettledly on his hind legs. You know, this thing reminds me of someone. 
someone that we've run into in this game multiple times. No res no disrespect here. This in fact is actually named in respect for her. Okay, I think we Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Oh, you signed up for this, but you didn't come. Come get it. Oh, we'll see. We, we went too far. Game. And it's not for. Or is continue? Hey, Grant, you getting a hey, half catch Pokemon? Okay. Yeah, I actually named the last one after you. Let me see. So far, you've got. Screw how many. Hey, we've just. I've got. Uh, we gotta figure out what the heck was that noise. Oh, that sounds sounds like it's a pain. I never heard that kind of crap before. Maybe some, some strong Pokemon or something. Uh huh. In the moment, you are probably not gonna be able to catch that thing. 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 Just right off the bat, you said it yourself you're not very good at catching Pokemon. Um, I say we we find whatever made that cry. Take a look around, Grant. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. You just jinxed us. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch not your step by these cliffs anyway. Okay, I guess you're not longer going to heal my Pokemon. On, we'll just grab the e and get going. Before we do, we need to go ahead and beat this uh, this Lechonk for no reason other than it looks at me funny. Also, Goro need gain the XP. Okay, well, it seems the cry is coming from this angle. Okay, but be careful. Oh, it looks like a beach down there. Look, I found a blue lizard thing getting being looked over by the Hound Hour. 
here are they thinking, hmm, do we eat this thing? Do we raise this one of us? I don't know what we do. I say eat it. Okay, fine, we eat it. I say, hey, hey, they go away. Oh god, oh, the clips fell, fell apart. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna die. Oh, okay, looks like, hey, Grotan, on phone, and heard us have too many complaints about a whole language. No town never very decided not to mess with us. Well, not to mess with it, and by it to us. Okay, looks like we have no choice but to confront of the obviously a very critically injured third lizard thing, because what the heck else are we supposed to do? There's nothing else we can do. Except then the water and get our socks wet. That, that is... Yeah. Uh, there's no sandals in this game. Let's go confront the lizard thing. Did this belly just growl? Are you okay there? There was a robo lizard. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you ought to give it something to help it work up. Okay, well I can give it let's see here. Now the logical thing. And we probably need to give it a revive. I have like three of these. Eat here, have that. It doesn't seem that'll do the trick. Maybe try something else? Okay. Uh, if you're not going to revive the old way, I don't know. Sandwich? Here. Here you are. Sandwich. Well, what is that thing? Um, yeah. Uh, here. Sandwich detected. This will register. Spells heavenly. Nom, 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 nom. Eternal friendship has been granted. I am now loyal to you. No greetings. Being small human, I am I'm known as Maridon. I am the box legendary of this game. Nice to meet you, Maridon. I'm Grant. I am glad you're feeling slightly better. Hold it, I need to test all my functions. That cave will do nicely for the test. Please stand back, human. I must, must transform. Or to register on my phone. Goodness. Roll power form has been reactivated temporarily, at least. Come follow me, human. We must let's use this cave to, uh, to get back to the surface. At the upper level of the of the region. Oh wait, nope. Don't just wander in a cave by yourself. At least let me. Do you have a flashlight item? No. Negative. No flashlight item for you. <sighs> okay. Oh, it looks like. Please follow. Oh, if you wish. Survive. And now we're in the Inlet Grotto. Very dangerous area. That's my mother. That's word. True. You probably should be stealing yourself in here. <sighs> Oi! Grant! Wait, what? Oh, there you are, Nimona! 
Where are you, her grand? You okay? I heard her, right? I'm managing. Thank goodness, I was really worried. You gotten hurt of this. I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to get focused on getting you back up here. You just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If we get close enough, I'll try and pull you if one of my Pokemon's moves. Oh, that's gonna be it. Okay, but before we do that... Hey, what's that Pokemon with you? It looks super strong. It seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. Ah, oh, thanks! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, really curious of what do you mean by that? Oh, young goose. Let's go ahead and battle one. Level two, young goose. Part of me wants to know: Are young goose natives to? The Paldea, because we haven't seen Yungu since Gen 7. And they did say they were immigrated to Alola. Unless they're in the pocket exit. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm only your level 6. And you have a quick attack. It spends its waking hours searching endlessly for food. When Young Goose is hungry, it, its ferocity gains a certain edge. Okay. But is it from Paldea, though? I'm naming you. I'm nicknaming you Nummy. You only tackle, and you're pretty docile. Okay. Well, I have too many. Hey, bug types. So is that going to be Charlotte or Shinobu? And I feel like like Charlotte is not exactly going to be up to really up to snuff. So Nami, you're temporarily in. Okay. Oh yes, you can keep six Pokemon in your box in your party at once. This is about your Pokemon box, by the way. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. From the main menu, you can select your boxes and open them up. From there, choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. So, you can basically switch your Pokemon on the fly. I think that's how Nimona operates. You see, this is a unique feature. I mean, this is a not really unique feature. They've started doing this since Gen 8. However, this is the first game game where you can't really really have a PC he just casually at any random Pokemon that you run into. So here we are having to deal with this. Young Goose. I know you see me. I can see what they're... Oh god, that's level 40. Nope, we're not doing with that. <laughs> what level... Well, oh uh, heck. I have come to a conclusion I have made a mistake. Ah, 
as you can tell, Diglett is supposed to be a... Okay, so you don't have the Korea Trap. Good. Good. Because that would be super awkward for everyone involved. Drake? Ow. My eyes. One, two, three. Captured. Its skin is very thin. If it is exposed to light, it blood heats up, doesn't get to grow weak. That's super sad! Does that mean that Diglett are meant to be the only in caves? Like, who writes these Pokedex entries these days? This is super sad. Okay, Montana Mole. Just, just, just go to box. You're great. Hey, you're, you're quite sad, sweetie. He, like, you don't deserve half of that. Uh, eh. Okay, so you're not shiny, it's just... Okay, fine, fine. We'll keep going. Hey, how's it going? Oh no! Uh, army of Hound Hours have to come oh, to try to fight hide us. Look, we don't want to be in your territory. Okay, hey, at least one of you say it to be caught. Uh, it's it's making my Pokedex look bad. Hey. That's a Thanks, Nimona, for the heads up of about the Hound Hour. Hour who are out to out to harness my organs. Because they're not really out to harness my organs; they're out to ruin someone's day somewhere. Oh gods! Gods! I forgot the thing. Thing really likes ice breaking rocks. Okay, don't worry. I'm right behind you. Okay. Oh, something's coming. Something's coming. Behind you. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, so the level 40, 40 hound hour who is decided. A hound dam has decided that it wants my ice bleed. Okay. Okay, can't get items, can't get... Can't even run from it. Oh god, it's about to crunch me. Where 
Sky Island Super Rescue. Zip up the sandwich maker. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's brought its horde. Hey, we're not trying to stay here. You just want to leave. Uh, a little help, buddy? Very well. Part of it. I guess you. Hey! Here, what? Understood. Blood up, blood up. Your brace is appreciated. Uh, I, I really ought to stop giving these things random voices. Way to go! For a second, I thought you both were both goners. Why didn't you come um, help us? Uh, power running low. Returning to low power mode. Oh, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power? Yeah, um, Nimona, you wouldn't happen to be carrying another sandwich, would you? No, uh, why? Well, that's pretty much what I did to get this thing into combat mode right down there. And if those hound dudes, uh, hound errors and hound doom come back, we might get. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclosar, but I've never seen one quite like this. It was a Cyclosar. And now it looks so different from a Mindico. Is it okay? Hard to say. You can't tell either, huh, Grant? No, I can't. Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. Me too. You know, that paddle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly distinct facing kind of hound there. That wasn't me. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? Yeah, I asked for help, but... But it did it on its own. Guess not like the Pokemon trainer yet, huh? No, I'm not. Nap mode ended. It... Oh, good. Look, it looks like it picked up a little. You think this fellow was the one making a mysterious cry we heard before? Confirm it, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The more I look, look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become his trainer, you've got to let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Alright, you can have my number. Oh, you have a black phone? Cool. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon moves to have a have stronger opponent. Oh, thank you, Swift. Star shit, eight to raise or shot of the opposing Pokemon. This sack never misses. Think about Think before you use it, though, DMs can only be used once. You've both have been here. And enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get by out. It'll be a good time. I can both four. Alright, before we do, though, oh, I want to take a. I feel like we ought to do something. You see this thing? And 
Ah, wait. <laughs> yes. Correct. Moridon is now a part of our profile picture. Yes. Yes, we took a selfie. Yeah, we're not going back in that cave. Okay. I am going to switch. So... Finally, out of the, out of that, and finally able to use it. Use the X menu. Yeah, kind of annoying. Annoying not being able to access the menu. Anyway, let's head over here to the lighthouse and talk. Why that? Little. What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're a Roman Humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Toro? Wait, he is? Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue is what, what in the world this Pokemon is doing at. And what is this for? Everything. I am. That is probably the cliff. We heard a strange cry when we tried to investigate, but Green can't fell off a cliff. And that Pokemon saved him. But it seems like it got. I think it wore itself out of the process. It got kind of. clumpy out. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like that. Wait. The form Morion takes it to battle. That's its true form. Morion? Is that. Had this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? Oh, you also know that window. You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you. But given the more given the uniform, you go to the academy too. No. Yep. Run the sort of Pokemon. The old trainer can ban. It's special. That's what how. What book is it? I think that's an ordinary Morana around. How about I test your worry? Uh, I guess. Go ahead and test it. <laughs> well, look at you. Quite a little go kid. I feel it. All that sort. So I'm going to use. Is this about the blast those blast these doldrums away? Pokemon Trader Arvin. Hey, this is Quobin. Hey, that's our mom's Pokemon. These memories are really bad taste. I want it gone. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch to
Okay, we're just not exactly having the best luck at ourselves up. We're almost there. Finally down. Well done. I'm gonna do Fairy Wind. Oh, yeah, by the way. Hey, this game actually has this kind of anti frustration feature by saying. I. I. Asking A for advice of what move it should learn or if you hit the X button. You want to forget tackle instead of splash? Okay, fine. Yes, I know how to battle, Arvin. I know how to battle. Oh, that felt so good. I'm gonna sit for a minute. <laughs> I like Mariah's little straw. Wow, Grant, that was awesome. Guess I was never gonna say it's using a Pokemon that I only just caught. There's Grovit here? <laughs> but if you really think you can take Marina off my hands for now, you'll need this. It's a Pokeball that brute has been kept in. Okay, cool. And it's a key item. Instead of a regular item. Pokemon hold a, hold a mysterious Pokemon known as Marina. What and Arvin gave it to you. So, why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck! What? Boy! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way, but you'd better actually show up to school. What a weird house. I am your... You... Our friendship has truly begun. In the Pokeball. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than anybody. Next time he and I are back, I'm gonna wring the answer out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you our view, the view of our school. Okay, we'll go to South Province, Area One. Look, everything the light touches is art. And one day it'll all be mine? <laughs> no. No, that's not how that works. Okay, fine. Look, Grant. Oh, that's where you got it. And a huge building with a bonnet at our school. It would be so neat having you in the same classroom. I'm looking forward to it. Great. I can't wait to get back. We're going to learn so much. And battle so, so, so much. You're drooling, aren't you? Isn't it awesome? From up here. 
mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. <laughs> you know what's waiting for you all over those natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon! <sighs> There this is me officially telling. Welcome to Paldain. But anyway, like, like you can see, it's kind of a hike. Because it's cool here. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. Ugh. We are going all that way. Uh, this is gonna suck. Get, get, get down there. Considering this mongoose is going mean, to absolutely murder this pig. Oh, hey! Hey, our first optional trainer battle. <laughs> you see, unlike like most regions in the Pokemon franchise, where their trainer's eyes, eyes meaning indicates a stuff's about to go down, you actually have to walk up to a trainer. They're like a proper, proper civilized person. Person, and then talk to them with the A button. See? See? No, no longer is direct eye contact the way to go. Prefer it like this. It makes it. it makes it so much easier. Easier to avoid battles. Well, especially if your HP is low.
the Pokemon are strong, huh? And they give you the money. Here in Padilla, you got to uh, talk to a Pokemon trainer, John. We can't tell if you want to battle just by making contact. Yes, like civilized adults. Good lad. Oh wait, hold on a second. Haha, <laughs> look there. Good piggy. Oh, hello. Okay, looks like we have two new Pokemon uh, we can go after. We can go after this convenient look at Psyduck or the uh, Azuro. I say, well, where did the Azuro go? Until I figure out where the Azuro goes, we're just going to go ahead and grab the Psyduck. I mean, Cloud Nine is actually pretty good. Right, pretty good to get a battle ability when, ability when it comes to that thing. Hey, you, what are effects? I'll be right back. <laughs> the control route. Good. Psyduck, if its chronic headache peaks, it may exhibit odd power. It seems unable to call this an episode. Why haven't they made Psyduck a psychic type yet? Like, make a Paldean Psyduck where it's psychic instead of water. You know what? Never mind. Alright, we're already too far in this game. Well, we're going to name him Doofer. And send him to the box because we already have a ducky. But if anything happens to my other ducky, we know how to, how to replace it. What the? I mean, we may as well catch her. Catch her. Do you have any idea how useful Gyarados is? One, two, three. Zero effort. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak tennis that it fixed today. God, I... Uh, I feel bad for Magic Carp right now. There's probably going to be a... <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. There's going to be a Pokemon Legends in Skiro game knowing, knowing our luck. And it's going to be if we drink, think a ancient and magic card that's actually dragon type. Would you like to give magic card a name?
I feel... I feel so... so weird. Are you calling her this? Carpe Diem. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well... Nami, you've had more... or enough... of time. Alright, we're just gonna keep... a magic carp in our party. And we're gonna continue messing around. Yeah, there are no fire dice here. Oh, no, no. We did it civilized. Alright. We fight a zero up front. Now, the interesting thing about a zero is instead of starting as its water fairy, fairy marrow counterpart. Well, evolution. Well, Zero starts as a. a normal fairy, so. Yeah, imagine that. One, two, three, God. Well, at the very least, the Pokedex have been updated. Its tail is packed full of nutrients and needs to grow. Hmm. Let's nickname him... Oh my goodness, I know. Oh, what Pokemon I completely skipped earlier. It was Fletchling. We didn't see a single Fletchling on. Well, at least I didn't. Okay. I probably should hurry up. Back on track. Thank you guys. Go ahead and talk to the weasel friend here. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> the, magic, uh, the side duck is behind me like, should I be involved in this? Y yes, I, I see you. I see you right behind me. Right, we will talk in a second. Two, three. Hurrah, we've got it. It inflates its flotation sack, keeping it at space above the water okay, to watch for prey.
Hmm. Well, if you were a boy, I would have named you Miles easily. But how about Miley? To the box with you, Miley. We just keep running into. Now then, about you. I'm gonna let that. Again, they did not test it as the R. Are you ready? Any feature? You're probably wondering why I'm just using. And Valdon just, uh, just just fight my way down here. Well, it's relatively simple. Item grind. Uh, I have an XP right. It's pro is this probably the least conventional method of uh, doing this? Yes. Uh, saves you all some significant amount of time. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a Pokemon called Wiglet now. And yeah. One, two, three. Ah, there's another one. Reflex. So it looks like Diglet. Wiglet is an entirely different species. Okay. You know, you could have just saved us a whole lot of headache and just, just admitted that this is a Paldean Diglett. The resemblance seems to be a coincidental result of environmental adaptation, and yet there are both this Diglett and this Wiglet in Paldea. Okay, my food's coming.
Ely? That sounds like a fun name. I am not exactly. We all know Wingle. I actually like the fact that the focus. One, two, three, time. Okay. It rides upon ocean winds as if it were a glider. In the winter time, I make a, a what is now IRL. It hides food around its nest. So you're not a migrationary bird. All right, but for those of you who who play the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, you all know. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, Wingle's evolution Pelipper sure does. It delivers the mail. Which is why I'm naming, naming this female Wingle male. After either Mega Man Battle Network or Glan Hikari's main love interest throughout the series. I'm gonna put box. Mona has been unleashed and she has not taken, taken any of her. Hello! Welcome to stream. Hey, if you're just joining us, we're on our way to a hey, back at the cliff. And we are fighting our way back up. Huh. Huh? You okay? Alright, yeah, we'll a bunch of Pokemon. I'm sorry, he looked at me funny. Good. 
beat that guy up. Yes, a uh, hop hip is now technically the strongest Pokemon in my party. Very level wise. Have mercy. Oh yeah. yeah, behold, look at this little thing. If you hit A near it, it'll give me, it'll give me gold coin. Oh, those are scattered throughout all of how they are. And you can't use any of those coins. You need to gather a bunch of them to eventually all give me gold. Catch them. But until we catch one, kind of on our own. Oh wait, did I hear barking? Yes, I did hear barking. Puppy Pokemon, we must catch one. But at the same time, there's Wooper. Oh. I love you both. I'm gonna catch you both. I'll start with you, Fido. Yeah, licked. Licked by a dog. One, a two, a three. The final's after. The good, the good dough is here. The yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. That's right. Protect our hearts. Let's see what you are. You're a good boy. Oh, uh, eh? Well, good boys deserve good names. We're gonna call you... Oreo. This was one name of one of my dogs. Recipes Oreo. He's been gone for, for a year and a half. Or almost two years now. We're gonna add you to the party. Alright. Uh, you need a break. Oh, should I was evolving? Aha! First evolution in the entire stream. Okay, so we got a whole new Pokemon. Let's add you to the Pokedex. Swoopa doesn't live in a fixed location. It roams where it pleases across the fields and mountains, building up the energy it needs to evolve. Alright, you're in the puppet. Okay, cool. Okay, now where's that Wooper? Wooper because we can't let it go to waste at this point. We we're... Hey, you. Would you like to join us? One, two, three, yes. Now they end over.
It's dangerous for a whooper to travel alone. They live, line up in groups of three or four to help each other as they walk around the wetlands. <laughs> uh, my players are... Uh, yes, we're, we're going to go ahead and give you a nickname. You deserve a nickname worthy of complete respect. That's why I'm calling you... Queenie! You come with us, Queenie. Hey, we... We're always going to be there. Oh, dang! Great capture! Now I feel not as bad. Alright. So that was quite a bit of stuff that we managed to accomplish so far. Okay, I will take a hand value trainer. <laughs> the hero, the student. Oh, she has a chunk. Really, the chunk. Fairy moves are not really effective against poison types like a queenie. Shot. 
<laughs> See, Pokemon okay, Center will heal all of your Pokemon for free. You already knew that. Ugh. Only now. Nice. Wait, have you been... I think we need really one. Really hate Sazer. Sazer real. That's very dead in general. Okay, we're just gonna add over here at the Pokemon Center. I only made it over here. Oh, hey, Grant! Over here! What's up? This here is a Pokemon Center. It made these things pretty much like... Outdoor gas stops? You can come here to take care of a lot of things and relate to your Pokemon. I'll leave the explanation to the pros here. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Good here. Here are my lessons Pokemon Mart counter. You can buy, I think, like Pokeballs and Potion. Hello, we accept payment of both cash and an LP. League point, that is. One LP is worth one Poke Dollar. Who designed that system? And to my right, it's a technical machine machine. TM machine, for short. If you're thinking to make a TS, which you can you teach moves to your Pokemon, you need to pay an LP and supply the machine materials that Pokemon drop. LP counts in uh, handy both of these machines and its stores. Ugh, I've got a lot. Here, have some. Okay. Nemo, you, you don't really need to do that. Okay, you've already given me five thousand. Oh yeah, some of these too. Lots of Pokemon materials for Nemo. Okay, <laughs> and at the Union Circle, you connect with other trainers here to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will. Thanks. Remember. Have a rough adventure, head to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know the story of stuff at the quiz at school. But, Demonix, help him. Here's another. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure. But it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have a Pokemon that's walking. And if you go pick up items lying around, or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. Basically what I've been doing pretty much this entire your stream, pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your leech Pokemon, alright buddy, let's go. Once you get the go-ahead, your Pokemon will sit on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items and find the But your Pokemon's low in energy, which happens when the HP is low, it won't be able to go explore enough stuff. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or something like that. When you start a Pokemon, Battle while exploring. Going on its own, you won't need to give it any orders. It can battle itself with all about, meaning keep searching for the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. All about will be determined by the strength of the height of the Pokemon taking part in the battle. So keep that in mind, which you do which of your Pokemon send out on its own. So now you know what to do. This all? Okay. Turn them out. There. We we'll go that way.
Now, time to go. Once you leave those bundles, we'll head the best known spot in the south part of the area one. The massive hill that we've school. Did you find your hairs you were itch itching about? Good luck. Richard Pokemon. Alright, cool. Good. You'll be arrested. Thank you now. Alright, but while we're here, we may as well register for our birthday. We now are going 04. One zero. That's right. Let's see what we have to buy. Oh, we only have three potions left. Uh, let's fix that. Let's spend some weak points for that. And get an extra Premier Ball. And in case we ever run into uh, something a little out of our league, Okay, let's look at the To make the M's, you need to gather up the materials from Pokemon to earn the and earn League Points or LP. To arrange the TMs, and you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs or repeat them from others during the year adventure. Alright, so good news here is we have access to Mud Slap. And protect. Oh, and also we have low kick, big struggle bug, uh, and siphon. Oh, disarming points. Okay, well, I am getting pretty tired here. There. I know we were said we were going to be going all the way to the academy, but a little bit of a hike. So, I'm going to call it a night here. Wait, hold on a second. I know you're in the area. Oh, Rawls, come out the foot. Okay, fine. Fine. Eagly buff. Oh, wait, no, no. That was not what I meant to do, but I have already stuck myself in this situation. Oh, that's cute, Oreo. Let's see what you that you can do. Uh, 
Hmm. I think you were more of a... Back when you were alive, you were definitely not a growler. You were... Jigglypuff. It likes to sing, but is not good at it yet. With praised encouragement, it will get better little by little. And let's call you Mel. Oh, dang. Okay. Ugh, those swarm rolls was in the area. Usually it is. Oh well, I'm gonna get ready to get off stream here. Here, I'm tired. Alright, well, I'll get one more time. One. Crit capture! I have another dog who is super sweet he, and just loves the heck out of me. I'm gonna name him Thanos. That's after him. And send the bottom. Alright then. So, yeah, that was the first part of this adventure. So, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. And call him. History. What do you all think? If you want more of this? Please, please like and all that other good stuff. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. 
Oh, dang it, I kind of skipped that particular tutorial. Let me see if I can find it in... Ah, here it is. Handy functions to remember. <laughs> there are all kinds of handy functions to remember. Check them out. Oh, these are on the uh, directional button. So, get up to use your remotes, down to open the camera out. Uh, you can change your outfit slash match fit with the left button, and you can check the nose that's on the right button. And we'll make that one of our our key items. Okay, but where did she get the Mankey fur? And the Ralts dust? Okay, I mean, I know where she got the Ralts dust, but where did she get the, get the Mankey fur? Alright guys, um... right, guys, take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.